Hello again, everybody! Zaki Tech is here with the attack line for Wednesday, March 28th, 2012. Alright, let's kick it off with another birthday yesterday. Celebrate a birthday, Mariah Carey. Today, we wish happy birthday to Mother Monster herself, Lady Gaga, turning 26. Of course, one of the biggest female pop stars on the planet. Three albums, Fame, Fame Monster, and of course, Born This Way, the Born This Way Ball, set to take place later on this year, kicking off in Asia and Australia, hitting America no later than 2013. She turns 26 today, so I'm having myself and all the little monsters out there. Happy birthday, Lady Gaga. Alright, let's continue on with Billboard number one. First things first, we have a new number one album. One Direction only lasted a week, as the Hunger Games, the reigning number one movie, not only becomes that, but becomes the number one album. The soundtrack debuts at number one this week, making it the first soundtrack to go to number one since Michael Jackson's This Is It. And also the first multi-artist number one soundtrack since Twilight. If I am correct. So, uh, here we go. Congrats to Hunger Games. There's like at least 100 or 200,000 copies of Soul. They expect some big competition from 280 stars. Lionel Richie releases his album Tuskegee, or whatever it's called, this week. And of course, my girl Madonna and her album MDNA. Set for big debuts this week. And hopefully, this will be the. What is it? Uh, Fifth out of six album to go to number one for Madonna. Because the last five, the, her last four in a row. Music, American Life, Confessions, and Hard Candy have all went to number one. Let's see if this one does too. But when it comes to number one singles, we have a new country number one single. That is Mr. Jake Owen with Along With You, King of Taylor Swift. But still your number one pop single for a fourth week in a row. It's We Are Young by Fun. And, uh, set next week, probably a big debut for Mr. Justin Bieber and his new song, Boyfriend, which I hate. Who doesn't hate it? Everyone hates it. <laughs> it's not Poppy like Baby, you know, I'm a disc jockey. I like playing Poppy dancey songs. I like Gangsta. Who knows, but I don't like it. Personally, I don't like the Bieber song. It may, may make a big impact on Hot 100 like Madonna and then will on Wednesday, next Wednesday on the Billboard 200. Congrats to your new number ones. Now, on with news concerning the Academy of Country Music Awards, which will take place this Sunday, April Fool's Day, or as I call it, WrestleMania Sunday. I'll talk about WrestleMania a little bit in a moment. Uh, we found out that there will be a live wedding taking place at the event at the ACMs. That's kind of cool, having a live wedding they announced today. That see that they will stay. It's in Vegas, you know. The awards are in Vegas. So what the hell? It is the wedding capital of the world, besides the family entertainment capital. You know, it makes sense for it to have a wedding in Vegas doing a bunch of they're playing a live wedding ceremony. They'll be they'll be serenaded by Martina McBride and uh, Pat Moahan from the group Train. Doing a duet on Train's latest single, Marry Me. And I heard Martina herself personally picked the couple from New Jersey, Christina Davison and Frank Tucci, who met while grieving their respective late first spouses. So that's kind of weird. Widows dating one another. But it's, it's cool to see that. They find love after death of their other loved ones. Nice to see that already would be on here. These are to be sounded by. Two great stars, good song, Train Marry Me. You know, of course, a lot of great performers this Sunday at the ACMs. Blake Shelton, Brenda Lambert, Gary Underwood, Toby Keith. A lot of great performers this Sunday at the ACMs in Las Vegas. Hosted by Blake Shelton and Reba. I think today is also Reba's birthday as well. So, happy birthday to Reba McIntyre as well. Today, I think, her birthday today as well. I think I got a double check, but I think it is. See that on the internet. Now, 
on with a bunch of TV news, starting with Glee. Now, of course, me and my fellow Gleeks have been feeling anxiousness as we all prepare for the return of Glee on April 10th. But we do have some weird news to kick off today with, to add some Glee anticipation. After a little feud, apparently, Lindsay Lohan will guest star on Glee this season. Not much guest stars this season, but Lindsay Lohan will be a guest star. That's going to be very interesting to see how well she do it. Someone attempted to come back for an old SNL thing. We'll see how well she does on Glee. I don't know when or air. They haven't said anything about when the uh, Lohan Glee episode will air. I'm guessing midway towards the season, near the end of the season. They say that Lohan's been a butt of many jokes, but the representative from Lindsay confirmed the people that she reappear in the Fox series this season. It wasn't specified what role she'd be playing. They've been suggesting some other reports she'd be playing a judge at Nationals. They're making a lot of jokes about her, so... Even her mother, Dinah, has been very upset about Glee. Making fun of Lohan, but that's cool they kind of made up. But we'll see what happens with Lindsay on Glee. When we get to that episode, of course, Glee returns on April, uh, April 10th. Modern still on repeats as well as Glee. So they'll return April 11th. So I can make the both Glee and Modern return. Now on with some other news on TV. Another Fox presented show, The X Factor. The last couple weeks, there's been a lot of rumors concerning who was going to replace Nicole Sushinger and Paul Abdul as judges. There's reports of Britney Spears joining. There's reports of Janet Jackson joining. Now the latest rumor, Rihanna is now apparently joining the bandwagon. According to a lot of sources, that Rihanna is now the next star woman to be a judge on the show. According to various reports that Simon has found his new judge, we have been saying that she has signed the contract. But they said the rumor is so false. Not only has Rihanna not entered into any talks to join the show, but any such discussions would be likely be fruitless endeavors. A source close saying that Simon knows how busy Rihanna is and is a big commitment for a long period of time. This is very unlikely. So the rumors of Rihanna and X Factor of um, as you heard on Drew. Now on with another TV thing. Last TV thing. Dancing with the Stars eliminated its first star last night. And America, this should be a great season because America got away right last night. As Martina Navratilova was the first celebrity eliminated last night. You know, I'll give her credit for trying her best, but she got swiped. There were so many great performances in the last two weeks. Would you learn why? And Catherine Jenkins being one of my favorites as well as Rashawn Fergin and Donald Driver, a lot of the people that should step up. I hope a lot of people do step up, like Evan Agraw stepping up and a lot of other people stepping up their game in the next couple weeks. William Levy, not one of my faves. Nothing against Martina, but like I said, she deserved to at least go home. At least maybe I got it right. We'll see if Megan gets it right throughout the next couple weeks to come. Of course, Dancing Monday at 8 on ABC. On with some wrestling news for today. Starting with WWE Today in Miami, they held a WrestleMania press conference, which was broadcasted on WWE.com, their YouTube page, and even Facebook. Of course, Rock and Cena were there. They talked about, they weren't in character. I think everybody else I saw was in character. Pump was somewhat in character when he talked about Jericho, who wasn't another no-show. Jericho did tweet that he is on his way to Miami and getting ready for Sunday to kick Punk's ass. Punk saying the same thing. Bring it on, Jericho. Triple H was there talking about his match with Taker. Of course, they were all talking about the event itself with all the various events going on, access and everything. Even uh, Beth Phoenix was there talking about their match. Members of Team Teddy and Johnny were there talking to WWE people. And uh, it was okay press conference. They stopped. Through. They used to do a press conference for every pay per view, but they were sick and tired of them. Of the fans chanting TNA every time. So they stopped doing it for the last couple of months. Years. They have done press conferences. I know they did one for us 23. They did one last year for us 27. I'm talking about during the event. Not like an event. Not 
not like a press conference to announce the next year like I did in New Jersey. I meant like a press conference during the week of WrestleMania. They haven't done it until, like I said, last year. During WrestleMania 27 week, they did one. And this week, they're doing one. They did it. With a lot of people showing up. Decent press conference. But, uh, talk about John Cena. John Cena, of course, it probably, in my mind, the only really good dirty film, The Marine. Now, they made a Marine 2 with Ted DiBiase. How, I, how even, how ironic is it? That Ted's former legacy leader, I can't believe I'm saying this, Randy Orton is set to star in the Marine 3. He tweeted that he's starring in Marine 3. That's gonna be stupid, especially if it's made the video. Randy Orton in a Marine movie? It's gonna be weird. But, well, he was a former Marine once, so it kind of makes sense. Because he was an army guy once, so we'll see how that figures out. But it'll be like every other Marine movie. Flappity, flappity, flap, bobbity, bobbity, bum. Dummy movie is probably the second worst venture in WWE history. XFL, anyone? <laughs> okay. Oh, the other wrestling company. The Entity's Attack, right? TNA. Tomorrow's Impact. But we have gotten word from Dixie Carter. There was a little trailer. Last week's Impact, they had a little trailer for Morning the Return. Of the Motor City Machine Guns, Alex Shelley and Chris Saban. Chris Saban's been injured for about a year. And Dixie Carter said that she's gotten the medical release. That Chris Saban is set to return very soon. Like I said, at least they were hinting the coming soon video last week. To start the promotion for the return of Machine Guns. And I, alongside every other teenage guy, especially here in Michigan. The home of the Machine Guns. I'm very looking forward to seeing them back in TNA as a tag team. They're a great tag team. One of my favorite tag team to TNA. Glad to see it back together to finally kick some ass in the attack team division. So there you go. That is it for the attack line for the day. I'll see you all later. That mine, you've all been attacked by the news from Zach. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all later. Have a great rest of your day. See ya. Yeah.